Hey guys! So today I'm going to be doing the It's My Hair tag. Um, I saw, what's her channel called? The Happy Hair Show. <laughs> Sorry, I forgot it for a sec. I saw The Happy Hair Show do this tag and I really enjoyed it. So I thought, why not I do it too? Why not I do it too? So I thought, why not do it too? That's what I thought. So I have the questions on my laptop and I'm going to fly through them now. So yeah, hopefully this video isn't too long because I tend to talk and ramble on a lot. Question one, why did you start your hair journey? I started my hair journey because I, number one, my hair was just really damaged from relaxer after relaxer after relaxer. Number two, I got sick of having to depend on someone else to relax my hair for me because I just couldn't do it myself. Number three, I got sick of paying for people to do my hair because I could never go with my own natural hair. I always had to have weave or braids or just, yeah, mostly weave. Um, and I just wanted healthier hair. So yeah, those are the four main reasons for, yeah, the four reasons why I started my healthy hair journey. How long have you been on your hair journey? I've been on my hair journey for just over two years now. I made a video about my two year transition anniversary thing. So I'll link it down below. You can check it out if you haven't seen it already. Are you relaxed, transitioning or natural? As I just said, I am transitioning. What is your hair length now? Um, I, I don't really, I don't measure my hair. That's just, you know, basically I don't measure my hair. Um, so I don't know like in inches and stuff. I think it's armpit length. Like it's just kind of like to there. This is just the relaxed part because when I kind of gauge my hair growth, I just disregard, sorry, this is the natural part, not the relaxed part. I disregard the relaxed ends because sure they're going to be gone anyway. But with relaxed ends, it probably would be to about there. Can you see? to about there but just the natural growth is just over my armpit length armpit area there <laughs> ew armpits um next question what is your hair length goal again i don't hmm, let me see i don't honestly i don't have a goal i just want healthy big afro hair so i can go like this and it's like woo yeah, so I don't have a length like, you know, bra strap length or waist length or hip length. Like it would be nice to have hair that long eventually. But meh, like I'm just being patient with my hair. Um, I have uh, like a lot of other things in my life at the moment to be kind of more focused on. Like, you know, finishing university, graduation with the first. That's my goal. So yeah, just healthy hair and healthy hair. What is your hair texture? My hair texture is, again, I'm not too clear on this. I don't like, I'm not a natural hair Nazi. So I don't know like all these different terms and I'm not like really, what's the word? Like I'm not so specific on a lot of these things. Like the word is just after going out of my head. I can't think of the word, but yeah. Um, I th I'm in the four section anyway, so I think 4B, 4C, 4A in some parts, just it's a mixture. What do you prefer, health or length? Um, like I just said, health, I would hate to have long hair that just looks like not as nice. So yeah, healthy hair is good hair. If you could only live with one hair product, what would it be? Conditioner. Oh my goodness, conditioner, leave-in conditioner, yeah. Oh no. Okay, no, I take it back. Not leave-in conditioner, just conditioner in general because believe it or not, I only started using leave-in conditioner this year, I think. Yeah, this year as in, in like April or something. And that was about a year and a half into my hair journey. The whole time I just used to use water with oil in a spray bottle. Then I put some of my regular conditioner. I use the Aubrey Organics uh, glycogen protein balancing conditioner. And I would just put a tiny bit of that in a spray bottle with water. And like I tell you, that worked pretty damn good for me, you know. Um, so yeah, conditioner, definitely conditioner. What is the worst product you've ever used? Hmm, the worst product I've ever used. I think it would have to be 
the Tresemme, let me think hard about it. Yeah, I think it would be the Tresemme, I can't remember which one it is, but it's the one with the pink, like swirly things on, you know, the way they have the different colors. Um, yeah, it was just so bad. So, so like it was grand when I used to use it for my weave and like my relaxed hair, you know, once in a while, because I wasn't too into healthy hair at that point. Um, but yeah, it just stripped my hair of all the moisture. It made it so dry and brittle. And I didn't realize at the time, but my hair is protein sensitive. So I don't need to do like a load of, you know, I don't need to pack protein into my hair because it just makes it really hard and crispy and it breaks off even more then. So this is what I thought back then. And I was just using this, you know, Tresemme stuff that they all have like a good amount of protein in them silk protein um but yeah it was just terrible absolutely terrible and once i realized i literally just like i gave it away to my friend i was like if you don't mind like if this is okay for you you can use it but i just can't and it was like a full you know session i was just after getting but i just couldn't have that product it was the worst thing ever what's your go-to hairstyle um at the moment this is my go-to hairstyle it's just kind of a side part um, bun and then I do either a plait or a twist um, in like a section of this part and then I you know pin it around the bun and I don't use sock buns I just kind of I get my hair into like a puff ponytail thing and then I braid like the very tip of it and roll and tuck and I just clip it in there and yeah that's my go-to hairstyle at the moment it's either that or like a goddess braid or just like two braids down the side or just a bun just throw everything up in a bun when all else fails just throw it up in a bun that's what i say are you a product junkie no can't be ours with products i'm not one for just trying a load of different things for the sake of it um i think like number one i don't like spending money unnecessarily if my boyfriend sees this, I know he's going to laugh and call me a liar because according to him, I just love to spend money. But no, I don't like to spend money unnecessarily. So once I have like some key products, I will just stock up on those. I won't just like get a load of different products and not use them and have a load of crap laying around Um, because I'm poor. So yeah, just uh, no, I'm not a product junkie. How often do you trim your ends? Um, I don't have a particular routine for trimming my ends, obviously, because I'm still transitioning. I'm not bothered about my relaxed ends. I mean, obviously, like I still condition and moisturize them because I don't want it breaking off and taking the natural hair with it. But um, I just trim whatever. Like if I see a couple of scraggly stray bits, I'll just go snip with the scissors. But um, yeah, like I don't I'm not big on trimming, so to say. How often do you use heat? Not very often at all. I don't have, I don't own a pair of straighteners. I haven't straightened my hair since I started my hair, healthy hair journey. I do stretch it with a hair dryer, but I'll use cold air or just, you know, the low heat setting. I've blown out my hair once on medium. That was just once in the whole two years. So yeah, I don't use heat. Do you take supplements? No, I don't take any supplements. I just take regular vitamins. Vitamins, oh my goodness. I swear, I'm not American, I'm Irish, but sometimes my accents just gets all mixed up from watching too much YouTube. <laughs> but um, no, I just take like normal multivitamins, like literally the ones I get from Tesco's. So yeah, just, I don't know, maybe I should make a video on just my opinion with this whole hair affinity and biotin craze you know for growing your hair bottom line is i'm not on that wave your favorite oil coconut oil i love coconut oil second would be castor oil because oh and tea tree oil as well i know it's not your generic you know oil for your hair but tea tree oil saved my scalp like i have really really bad dandruff i'm sorry i keep mentioning this but this is how good it works guys i mentioned this in like nearly all of my hair videos but if you have dry scalp and you you know like it's itchy and flaky and stuff just get castor oil a few drops of tea tree oil and oil your scalp with that and trust me 
even like two, three, four, five, six weeks, just until the next time you wash your hair, it'll keep you going. It's just, it's excellent. How long does it take you on wash day? The whole day. It takes me like wash day is the whole day, literally. Most of the time it's two days because, or a day and a half, because I like to deep condition overnight. So I'll put in the conditioner into my hair and then I'll wrap it with cling film or saran wrap as you guys call them in America. Um, not you guys, but if you're in America, that's what you would probably know it as. Um, but yeah, I just wrap it in cling film. Then I put just my scarf over it then, you know, and I go about my business, I go to sleep, wake up the next morning and then I start like proper wash day, you know, washing and then my post wash routine and stretching and stuff like that. Worst thing that ever happened to your hair. Oh my goodness, the worst thing that ever happened to my hair. I think there's two worst things that ever happened to my hair. The first one was not necessarily like, you know, something bad happened to my hair. It was just, okay, I'm just going to say what it was. Basically, I did something wrong. My mom was like really, really angry with me. So she just got scissors and chopped off my hair. Like I had weave still in. She didn't even care. She just like lifted up the weave and like snip, snip, snip. I was bawling my eyes out. But yeah, <sighs> never again. I was like an angel after that happened. Um, then the second worst thing that ever happened to my hair would have to be when I think it was, yeah, the last time I relaxed my hair, the amount of hair loss and breakage was unbelievable. It was so bad. Like it was all in the bath, all in the drain. And that was really like the define, not the defining moment, but you know, that moment where you're just like, I'm never relaxing my hair ever again. I don't care what I have to do to maintain it, but I'm not doing this. That was, yeah, it just broke so bad and it was all uneven and just choppy and like really thin. So yeah, that was pretty bad. Do you dye your hair? If so, what color? No, I don't dye my hair anymore. I used to dye my hair jet black and I used to use, um, I think it's a nice and easy, you know, just like packet hair dye. And then I moved on to using just the henna. Is it henna? I don't know if it's henna, but it's powder dye. Um, I used to use that, you know, the stuff that you just mix with water and you leave it in your hair, then wash it out. Who do you tag? Who do I tag? I tag, I'm so bad with tagging people because, yeah, I just never remember names and stuff. If you're watching this and you make videos, I tag you. You don't have to be like natural or whatever. Like if you have hair, just you can do the It's my hair tag. So yeah, this is really fun. I hope you guys enjoy and I'll see you in my next video. Ha <laughs> ha.